is Megan in McDuffie. I'm a resident of Broome. Uh, I'm also a PhD researcher and a community media trainer. Um, I've worked with Aboriginal communities for 14 years. Um, one of the things that I want to say about at the moment is that it's not solely an Aboriginal versus white issue. Um, it's something much bigger that has to do with the way the system works and the way um, the system has colonised Aboriginal people and is now colonising white people um, at the same time. So um, one thing that I always say is that the system only accepts difference when it becomes sameness. What we've seen with native title is a, an attempt, an attempt to institutionalise culture, to institutionalise something that was fundamentally different. Um, which is Aboriginal culture, and to turn it into something that can be made part of a system. To a certain extent, it may have worked for certain communities, but for other communities, the complexities of their cultural affiliations means that this system that is currently in place is creating not only inequalities, but, but what I would term as genocide, you know, full-on genocidal effects because what it does is um, it conveniently brings in um, people who say yes to being part of the institution, to being part of the system, to being like us, like European people. So all these people that want economic development, that want, um, you know, at all costs, um, it fits in really well with them. But, but for the people who are marginalised, the people who are still different, the people who have been marginalised a long time ago. Some of these people uh, were taken off their country 30, 40 years ago and they had to come and live somewhere and they chose to live in the community because it was a, a meeting place, a very important place in Broome. So these people that have been marginalised, they can't remain different, you know, they can't be there. They've been deemed by the Broomshire Council as being a nice all for many years because you know they're between two resorts and it doesn't fit in with the image that Broom tourism you know wants to give to their tourists when they come you know at the height of the tourist season. So what we're experiencing is is one part of the Aboriginal community actually committing genocide on another part of their own community and saying no you you not you, you can't be there you can't exist in that way you have to be like us you have to accept the white man's terms and that's that's what i'm seeing at the moment so yes poverty is an issue yes alcoholism is an issue these things can be tackled in a different way not just by just simply bulldozing a community we, you don't bulldoze a community, you don't bulldoze people out of existence. This issue of development is a very complex one. It's not a binary issue. It's not about no development or development. It's about how development occurs. For a lot of Aboriginal people and indeed for a lot of Indigenous peoples across the whole world, um, development has to be ethical. Um, development can't just be about extractive industries um, coming in and, and raping and pillaging the land for short-term profits and, and going away again and leaving people to deal with all the damage and all the effects of that development. So for many years Aboriginal people have been arguing about a more ethical kind of development. What is happening in Broome at the moment um, is a little bit different to this issue of development, but it's, as I said, demonstrating that the system, once it includes difference, what, once it includes native title, Aboriginal people, and the need to develop, the need to be seen to maybe have a resort there, um, you know, to, to be uh, developing the land economically, it doesn't benefit the whole of the community. It only benefits a few people. There will always be marginalized people in this town if we continue to do it in this way. There are children in these houses. What is the future for them? 
Are they going to work in this resort? Are they going to want to work in this resort? We have to take into account what Aboriginal people actually want and what all of them want. So it's not, yes, it is about economic development. We cannot leave people living in poverty, but they have to be the main agents of this development, not to just, um, not just uh, be submissive to it or be um, overrun by it by a group of people who thinks it is in, the, in their best interest. Um, development has to work with people's values, with people, uh, with the way people see their life and what they value in their life. And a lot of people, both Aboriginal and white, do not value the capitalist system as it is today, as it requires us to be. Some people choose to do it in a different way. And these people at the moment have no voice. And these people at the moment are being bulldozed out of their own community, out of their own houses, out of their own country.